taking all of those factors, I think we can work together. One factor that is affecting, uh, to certain extent, the shale oil production is the infrastructure. We know that they need until the fourth quarter. So if we, if we manage to correct the market, uh, then, uh, and, and, and working around, around those numbers, the five years average, I think we can grow as well as the, uh, the shale oil production. Uh, and uh, we, what, we need, uh, what we need to see is a buildup in, in the capacity because the United States will increase, will increase in two to three years. And then once that slowdown happened, you need other producers to be ready to, uh, to take, to take that, that, uh, that production and, and ensure that the world is, is well supplied. What about the market share there? Because the question, of course, is always prices, stability versus market share. And so many people would say that you're really losing that battle. Um, I think, I think uh, we're not talking, uh, market share is important, but it's not the only factor that we look at. If you look at countries, they have different, different uh, some have grew in market share, uh, others have lost market share, but those who have invested, who have uh, tapped into the latest technology, they have, um, I think they have managed to, uh, to, uh, to increase their production uh, and, and managed to, uh, to gain from this. From this. Uh, the, the other countries which, which were closed, they did not, uh, they did not open up to the, uh, to the international uh, community in terms of investments, in terms of technology. I think they are lagging behind. But a reality, the world demand is, is growing at uh, a healthy rate, and we need to continue discovering oil. There is a decline that is happening in many parts of the world. Some countries are losing significant production. Someone else need, up, need to, to increase to, to take that market share. So the market share, it depends. If you look at the overall OPEC, or are you looking at individual countries, and you cannot assume that every country will keep their market, their world contribution market share if they are not doing the right investments. In terms of what happens next for OPEC, the conversation continues about the relevancy of the organization, um, what's going to happen next over the coming year in terms of OPEC plus and those relationships. What's your outlook? I think OPEC will always be there. I don't, I said earlier, uh, I don't think we can afford not to have OPEC. Uh, Are we going to see any more departures like Qatar? No, actually, I mean, if you look at the average, we get more countries joining the organization in the past two years than leaving the organization. Qatar, as a, as a, it's, it's a sovereign decision. We don't understand it, to tell you the truth. Uh, we don't understand the logic, but it's their decision. And Qatar is a small producer. And even when they were given chance to increase their production, they couldn't increase their production. So I'm not worried about Qatar. Qatar is not uh, a country with, uh, with significant uh, uh, capacity of increase that could, could, uh, could uh, uh, risk the, uh, the market. And uh, it's their decision. So I wouldn't even uh, put lots of, of emphasis on, on them leaving. It was not understood. Uh, and uh, because if you look at the gas and, and the claim is we're a gas producer, oil is affecting the gas. I mean, when oil prices go down, gas prices goes, goes down as well. So again, it's not understood, but the, at the end of the day, it's their sovereign right. We respect it, that's their decision, but, but it's not going to, to, to change in the fundamentals in any shape or form. I think what's important is we keep uh, the momentum of investments in, into, into, this, uh, into, into the oil and gas uh, happening. We don't want the likes of Adnok and Saudi Aramco to slow down their investments because they are not seeing the return on investments. We don't want those who are investing in the shale oil slowing down or, or, or companies bankrupting because they are not seeing the, uh, the return on that investment. We don't want to, to, to see 2000 and, uh, 2014, 2015, 16 again. And, and, and we all know what happened to the shale oil production when they got so excited, they overproduced, then uh, they, they flooded the market. We, that one of the risks is that, 
Uh, and I think the fact that um, the, the uh, OPEC and non-OPEC are attaining to it and, and, and keen on correcting the market, I think they are helping everyone. Uh, the, shale, the, 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 shale, the, the other producers outside the group, sometimes they have logic. So we, we really uh, appreciate what the Alberta uh, government have decided in, in Canada by reducing their production when they have seen that, they, uh, that it doesn't make sense for investors to continue investing. So I think that's where, that's where you need to always correct, watch, correct, uh, and the market share for individual countries will depend on how much they are investing on their country and, and uh, how much uh, the, uh, the stability in that, in that specific country is. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.